Okay, remember in the last lesson we talked about fractions, and we talked about ratios, and uh, we found that there was two men's washrooms to six women's washrooms. What I want to do here with you is uh, something called reducing the fraction, putting it in lowest terms, and here is what that means. Let's say we wrote it as a fraction. What you do to put it in lowest terms is you say, what could I divide the two by and the six by? to make those numbers smaller. So you think, okay, I could divide the top and the bottom by the number two. Oops. And uh, by doing that, two divided by two, you get one. Six divided by two, you get three. And there you have it. We have just reduced this to lowest terms. Two to six is really the same thing as one to three. And you can write it like this as well. Okay, so that is called reducing to lowest terms. So one more thing I want to talk about with ratios is you can have more than just two ratios. What happens if you have two men's washrooms to six women's washrooms to, notice there's a third one coming here, look down at the alien, in case you didn't notice it yet. Let's pretend there are four alien washrooms in the mall. Yes, that is strange, but this is a strange mall and I'm a strange math teacher. Okay, so we're gonna reduce this to lowest terms. Two, six, and four. Is there a number that divides each one? Well, indeed there is, they're all even numbers. We can divide them all by two. So two divided by two, you get one. Six divided by two, you get three. Four divided by two, you get two. We've just reduced this to lowest terms, down to one men's washroom, to three women's washrooms, to two alien washrooms in lowest terms. Okay?